I'll usually start to, uh, I guess, validate my pen nerddom. Uh, I'm a Hobonichi user, so uh, my cousin kind of keeps me on task and keeps my schedule organized and understanding what I need to do and my task list and that sort of stuff. So uh, that's one thing that I use pretty much every day that uh, I probably could not do without. Okay, I don't have my favorite stationary item on with me, but... Um, I think it's tied between my Hobonichi weeks because I feel like that helps with my planning a lot. That has all my to-do lists. Or I really like my Fonte brush pen for sketching. So those are my two favorites. The best stationery I love uh, at the first is uh, a knife of Ofa. Nice. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't bring here. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. I think we, we know the Ulfa, the yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is my, my best. Yes, yes. <laughs> and uh, this time I come to this uh, stationary fest, I buy a uh, uh, glass pen, it's my favorite. And it's also bubble tea. You can see a bubble inside. That's so cool. Yeah. I use a number of different things. I use uh, traveler's notebooks, uh, for sure. That's part of my collection. But one thing that I think is really interesting is, is the bee, because the bee has become like a symbol of the fountain pen community. And it's essentially a, a holder for your journal. So it holds it open. And then we see them throughout the community. People just want to like share and let other people know that they're part of our world, which is the fountain pen world, and it's just a neat little tool, and it's great for me when I'm reading. I'll plug it in, I'll hold the page open, and then just rotate the pages. So I love our little bee.